So hi guys, I'm Clark. So for today's video, we will talk about the Fibonacci sequence. So what is Fibonacci sequence? Fibonacci sequence is one of the famous formulas in mathematics. Fibonacci sequence is composed of numbers. And these numbers are called Fibonacci numbers. So ano-ano nga ba ang mga Fibonacci numbers guys? So ito ay ang mga 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, and so on. Paano nga ba nakukuha ang mga Fibonacci numbers na ito? Makukuha ang Fibonacci numbers kapag in mo yung dalawang number bago yung kasunod. For example, yung 0 and 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. Kaya naging 0, 1, 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Kaya naging 0, 1, 1, 2. 1 plus 2 is 3, kaya naging 0, 1, 1, 2, 3. And so on guys. ipag a mo lang yung dalawang number bago yung kasunod. So itong Fibonacci sequence guys is meron siyang equation. And yung equation niya is xn plus 2 is equals to xn plus 1 plus xn. So yun yung equation ng Fibonacci sequence guys. So, sino nga ba ang nag-imbento ng Fibonacci sequence? Ang nag-imbento ng Fibonacci sequence, guys, is si Leonardo Fibonacci. Isa siyang Italian mathematician na ipinanganak noong Anno Domini 1170 or AD 1170. So, gusto nyo bang malaman kung ano-ano ang mga examples ng Fibonacci sequence? So, may mga kagroup ako at naghanap sila ng mga bagay na nagre-represent sa Fibonacci sequence. So, kung gusto mong malaman ng mga example na ito, just keep on watching at may malalaman ka sa mga kagroup ko. So ayun no, what is up guys? Ako nga pala si Joe Aaron Pascual. So ngayon is magbibigay tayo ng examples of Fibonacci sequence and golden ratio. So yung example ko ngayon is yung ating fingers or yung kamay. So, so looking at the length of our fingers, each section, so each section of our fingers from the tip to the base of our wrist, yan, is larger than the preceding one by roughly one, by roughly the ratio of pi. So yan. So next Next example natin is yung face. Yeah. So, yung ating ano, mouth. So, the mouth and the nose are positioned at the golden section of the distance between the eyes and the bottom of the chin. So, similar proportion can be seen from the side and even the eye and ear itself. So, which follows a spiral. Hello everyone. I am Sofia Malonzo and today I will be giving you examples of the occurrences of the Fibonacci sequence in nature. Our first example is the aloe polyphyla. We do not have this plant at home as it is notoriously difficult to grow, so I will be showing you a photograph instead. This plant is very aptly called the spiral aloe for its distinct appearance. If you look at the aloe polyphyla from above, you may notice the arrangement of its leaves along the stem. This is called philotaxis, from the Greek words philon meaning leaf and taxis meaning arrangement. The spiral philotaxis follows the Fibonacci sequence. The next example is spherical cacti. If you look at this specific type of cacti from above, you may notice how its spines spiral in a manner which follows the Fibonacci sequence. So hi guys, it's me, Eliza, and for today, I'll show you different examples of Fibonacci sequence. Let's start! So first is this cabinet. This cabinet is made up of foods and we can see Fibonacci sequence in this. So I'm going to use a glue so I can show you the pattern. So next is this pineapple. This pineapple has parallel spirals left and right. The 
but definitely not the least is this onion. So we're going to cut this one in half. Hi! Today I'm gonna show you some example of Fibonacci sequence. One example is this flower. This flower has five petals because 0 plus 1 equals 1, 1 plus 1 equals 2, and 2 plus 3 equals 5. So this flower is belong to Fibonacci sequence. Another example is our ear. Our ear and our thumb. Because it forms like spiral shape just like how Fibonacci was formed. Hope you learned something from our video and don't forget to wear your mask and your facial. Keep safe everyone! Bye! Bye. Bye.